In the world of finance, estate planning is one of the most overlooked areas. Many of my clients have put it off because they think it's boring, expensive, or because they think they don't have enough assets. But the reality is everyone needs an estate plan. Have a cat, have a dog, have kids, have any type of a counter asset, you should have an estate plan. So let's break it down. What is an estate plan and what needs to get done? Your estate is everything you own. It ranges from your business, to the house, to your money, and any other personal belongings. Even if you don't own a lot of stuff, you still need a plan for where all of these things will go. However, your estate plan is more than just a map of where all your possessions will go. It also helps dictate where your kids will go, who will take care of you if you're able to, who will handle all your affairs if you can't, who will take care of your loved pets, and so on. It's a combination of how to pass down assets, how the end of your life will be managed, and who will handle everything. Everyone's estate plan is slightly different, but there are a few specific documents that most have. The first document is a last will. This lays out your wishes for who will receive what after you pass away. You will also select someone as a guardian for your children. Another document is a living trust. Now, this is similar to a will, but the key difference is that these assets are placed in it while you're still alive. Once you pass away, these assets will be moved without needing probate. I advise clients to at least start out with a will and discuss with their advisor if or when it makes sense to get a trust completed. Another document is a living will. Now, this document is part of the advanced directive, which allows someone to make decisions for your health if you cannot make them yourself. And finally, power of attorney. This is a document that names someone to make the financial decisions for you if you're unable to. Most people have no idea what the process is like after someone passes away. Those that do, it's totally understand why these documents are so important. Let's dive into this so you can get a real life understanding of the process. So everything you own at the time of your death is part of your estate. Your estate then goes through probate. Probate is the process where the court decides what happens to your assets now that they're gone. This is where having estate planning documents becomes so helpful. If you have a will, the court uses this as their guide to split your estate. If for some reason you don't have one, you are considered to have died in custody, and the court uses local laws to decide who gets your assets. Now, let's be real, you don't want them deciding this stuff for you. The easiest way to avoid probate is by naming beneficiaries from all of your important accounts like life insurance, retirement accounts, and transfer debt accounts. When you create your will, you get to name someone as the executor of your estate. This person manages your estate through the probate process. They handle taxes, debt, and anything else that relates to your estate. They also help distribute your estate to all the right people. Typically, people pick their kids, spouse, or siblings to do this for them, as it's not a quick and easy job. You definitely want someone you trust to be your executor. If you do not name someone before you die, the judge will choose someone as your administrator. Again, something you don't want. I hope this helps you understand the importance of the estate plan and the main parts worth continuing ASAP. The next steps involve either finding a local attorney or an online solution to start the process. Working hand in hand with your advisor on this also helps make sure everything you need done is completed and, most importantly, updated as your life changes. My biggest piece of advice is stop putting this off. It's so helpful for peace of mind for you and all of your loved ones. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.